Everyone jokes about gym bros and their confidence, but what if being buff actually gives you a scientific edge in the bedroom? I'm Dr. Rena Malik, urologist and pelvic surgeon, and today I'm gonna to talk about the connection between muscular health and your sex life. We're gonna talk about two major studies and unpack the science behind why your muscular health might predict your bedroom performance. And I'll share some practical tips that could help improve your sexual health and your overall health. Let's get started. In a 2024 study, researchers analyzed survey responses from 2,100 men between the ages of 48 and 75 across four Nordic and Baltic countries. And looked at several factors that might affect sexual function, including BMI, age, smoking, diabetes, high blood pressure, and sure enough, they obviously found things like being overweight, getting older, and having certain health conditions made someone higher risk of having sexual problems. And they looked at sexual problems like erectile dysfunction, a loss of sexual desire, and a loss of morning erections. If you want to learn more about morning erections, check out my video where I talked about that because it's actually more important than you realize. Now, interestingly, they found some numbers or statistics for every extra year of age, the odds of having sexual problems increased by seven to 8%. For every extra point of BMI, the odds increased by three to 5%. But here's where it gets crazy. Men with diabetes had a 63% higher risk of having erectile dysfunction, and those with high blood pressure had a 27% increase in erectile dysfunction. Now, if you've been on this channel for some time, you'll already know all this, but here's the kicker. We know that on average, men lose about seven to 10% of their muscle mass per decade. Now the study found that men who reported having no loss in muscle strength were 60 to 65% less likely to lose their morning erections, have a decline in sexual desire and lose erection quality compared to those who noticed that they had a loss of muscle strength. Now, why would this even matter? Why would strong muscles protect against any sort of sexual issues? Skeletal muscle is actually an endocrine organ, meaning that it sends signals or special proteins called myokines throughout the body and it helps manage how we process glucose, insulin, and even store fat. Also, when you have more muscle, it reduces inflammation and supports the health of other organs throughout the body. Now, all of these positive changes are important for healthy blood vessels, and you need healthy blood vessels to get blood flowing into the penis. Second, muscle mass is closely tied to testosterone. So even when you control for symptoms that might be related to low testosterone, muscle mass still independently predicted sexual function. Third, and this surprised even me as a urologist, muscle strength appears to be linked to nitric oxide production. Nitric oxide is the ignition for erections, and it starts that cascade that allows the blood vessels in the penis to relax and fill with blood, allowing you to have an erection. So if that doesn't convince you, there was another very recent review that analyzed 32 studies published by actually some of my friends who've been on the podcast, Dr. Gabrielle Lyon and Dr. Moet Kara, and they found strong links between muscle mass and sexual function. In their view, there was a few interesting findings. Studies found that older men in their 70s with lower muscle mass had higher rates of erectile dysfunction. So 52% with lower muscle mass compared to 32% in guys with normal muscle mass. They were also two times more likely to have severe erectile dysfunction with lower muscle mass, meaning that they're more likely to have such bad ED that they might not even able to get an erection without medications or further intervention. In another study in the review, they looked at 258 men and measured their muscle volume by special scans. And they found that the more muscle volume they had, the better erectile function. In another study of 4,000 men, men who were over 40 who actually reported they were doing muscle strengthening activities had a 33% lower risk of erectile dysfunction. Now, some of the other studies looked at a proxy of muscle strength, which is hand grip strength. And hand grip strength has been shown in a variety of different studies to be sort of a surrogate marker of overall muscular strength. So in one study, in older men, those who had stronger hand grip strength were less likely to get erectile dysfunction. Specifically, when they had a five kilogram increase in hand grip strength, the odds of erectile dysfunction decreased by 14%. And interestingly, even if a guy had other conditions like diabetes or metabolic syndrome, and we already know that these issues put you at higher 
risk of ED. But if you had a higher muscle mass, you were actually better off compared to those who had worse muscle mass in terms of sexual function. Now, what do I take away from all this? Muscle mass is something you can control and you can actually work to improve it. Also, measuring your muscle mass or your hand grip strength might serve as an early warning system that if you don't make a change, you could develop problems in the bedroom. So an easy way to test is to measure your hand grip strength. Now, a normal hand grip strength for a man in his 40s is somewhere between 45 to 47 kilograms or 99 to 103 pounds. You can buy a hand grip dynamometer for less than $40 and use it as a test to see where you're at and track it over time. I put a link to one in my description from Amazon. Feel free to use that if you like. And you can train. Start with resistance training. Aim for anywhere from two to four strength training sessions a week. Now, I've had a bunch of experts on the podcast and made a solo podcast about strength training. So check those out to learn more. I'll link those as well in the description. Also, make sure you're getting enough protein. Prioritize protein with lean meats, fish, eggs, and plant-based proteins. And all of these things will improve your muscular health make you look more attractive, as I mentioned in my last video, and will allow you to maintain your sexual function. Now, a lot of you who watch the channel are not subscribed. In fact, if you look at the backend analytics of YouTube, only about 20% of you are subscribed to the channel. So if you've watched more than one video on this channel and you found it helpful, do me a solid favor and subscribe. It helps out the channel a bunch. And as always, remember to take care of yourself because you're worth it.